Hey you all, Russ here, RVR TV. How you doing? Well, today is Rough Rack Day. Yay! <laughs> this is just one of those bolt on the uh, edge of the roof type brackets, for mainly meant for ladders, but I'm going to hook a solar panel to them. Now, here's my big mistake. I bought this cargo carrier. It is way too big. So I cannot use it. I gotta get something a little smaller. The solar panel and that cargo carrier are not gonna fit the way I wanted it. And solar is more important, so I'm gonna change out that carrier to something else. But that doesn't stop me. I'm going to go ahead and get this bolted together, mount it on the roof, then we'll get the solar panel mounted. See if we can't get some solar operating on this thing today. Okay, well let me get busy and I shall be back. Okay, I got her on there. It wasn't hard at all. Just a few bolts. It fits right on that drip edge of the metal, of the roof line there. I'll show you. See, this, they just bolt right on there. Added some extra screws to it. It's good and solid. It'll easily hold the solar panel. I'm going to get back online later and figure out something else for a cargo carrier. But, hey, too big, too big. Oh well, I ain't going to worry about it. Hey, check out what I got up at Home Depot, too. Check out those uh, storage containers. I really like them, except for the yellow. <laughs> So I might modify that a little bit. But those are details down the road. But the containers will work out great. Makes lots of storage there too. Okay, well let's get back after this roof. Here's the solar panel. It's gonna go right up there. This side, I'm gonna put it on the passenger side long ways. This is a 170 watt panel. And that should be born enough to keep those two AGM batteries charged up because I'm not going to be pulling a ton of power. There's the plate for it. You can see, where is it? Right there, 170. Should be plenty of power for them two batteries. Good enough for now. Okay, let me readjust the cameras and we'll get it up there. Okay, I took out the top bolts of the rack. I'm gonna drill some new holes into the frame of that new solar panel. You can see there it butts up pretty good. That'll make it really tight. I'll have four bolts holding it. I'm gonna have to get some little longer bolts than what came with the rack. I'm liking that. That's really going to be solid. Then on the other side, I will put a clip and drill it into the frame. Or not the frame, excuse me, the pipe going across. My goodness. Okay, let me get going on this. I'm going to go ahead and drill out the holes. Ok, 
okay give you a quick look got the holes drilled right through there I'm gonna add the longer bolts Okay, I'm running the wire up through the roof. I pulled the panel back off for this portion because I wanted good access. I'll show you. I'm running the wire through the roof. This will go down to the controller. I, uh, there's a grommet there, plus I wrapped it with some uh, electrical tape. And I'll probably put another coat of tape on it once it's all set up and wired. That should work pretty good. I'll even add a little clip maybe to hold it down. There's the wires, it's just uh, simple, they plug in, positive, negative. I will zip tie it up to the pipe right now, the rack, and then go from there. I'll figure it out better, but I'll get it all cleaned up. But that's that'll feed, that's feeding the batteries down below. And that'll be producing 12 volt power, sunlight, free energy. I'm pretty happy with that setup. That'll be good and solid. Wind will go right under this thing. Shouldn't have too much resistance. My other van, I had a rack on it too. All right, I gotta get the back bolts in on the panel. And we'll get this thing finished off. Okay, there it is. One mounted panel. Got it all wired. I'll show you from the inside what I did here. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. You can see the wire coming down. I just attach it to the wall. I'm running it underneath the carpet straight over to the battery box. Looking good. Here I'll show you. It's on. It's producing. 13.7 volts and we're charging. Down there that's a 30 amp fused uh, switch. On off switch plus it's a uh, fuse. Okay, that thing right there, that's a trickle charger I had for a few years. I mounted it, it's not hooked up. There's the kill switch, to, so turn the engine battery on and off. So I won't drain that at night. Isolator, whatever you wanna call it. And you can see the inverter's working. I tested it out with that battery charger there. And look over here. We got power. There's all the USBs and three 12 volt plugs. Ton of power. Pretty nice, huh? Oh, and then also off the battery box are those two plugs. So everything is coming off the solar and the AGM batteries. Just the way we had a plan. Looking good. All right, next one I'll do a complete go through of the van. This is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't get travel safe. Talk soon. Take care all.